we want to figure out what other uh, recreational opportunities it can provide in the long term. On behalf of GROW, we want to invite everybody in the community to participate in that. The golf course does have a positive impact on the local economy. Hello everyone and welcome to the Homepage Network. I'm Sarah Vogt. Graduation and birthday celebrations, high school and family reunions, weddings, and of course, four-star picturesque golfing for locals and visitors alike. Our chosen destination for those moments we fondly remember was and still is the Tioga Country Club. Today, Sean Bryant, President of the Directors for Growth Resources of Wellsboro, better known as GROW, joins me in the studio to share the news about GROW recently acquiring the Tioga Country Club. Sean, thanks for joining me today to share this good news. Thanks very much for having me, Sarah. Sean, to start with, for the viewers that are not familiar with GROW, what is GROW about? That's a great question, Sarah, because even a lot of people locally who have heard of GROW Often it turns out they don't exactly know what GROW is. GROW is a nonprofit organization made up of businesses and individuals in Wellsboro who are interested in economic development in Wellsboro. So one way to look at it is there's a lot of organizations trying to make the economy better here in Wellsboro. There's governmental organizations, there's private businesses, there's charities. GROW has the flexibility to work with all three of those types of groups, mm. or if there's a gap in responsibilities, GROW can step in and provide help. How did GROW first become involved with the golf course? Well, GROW first became involved in the golf course in the 1970s. Mm -hmm. In the late 70s, the course wanted to expand from nine holes to 18 mm -hmm. holes. Mm -hmm. And because GROW is a nonprofit, we were able to help them in obtaining preferred state financing oh. at a good interest rate. Yes. And they were able to develop the course into 18 holes. More recently, um, we were able to give them a total of $220,000 just to help them you know, pay their bills and get by in these recent years. Why did GROW decide to take over Tioga Country Club? Well, as evidenced by the fact that we've had to give them a lot of financial support over the past few years, mm -hmm. it's been a tough economy for golf. Yes. One reason for that is a lot of younger people don't have as much time to play golf as some of their parents did. Mm -hmm. In addition, there's a lot more competition for visiting golfers, which have helped Tioga pay their bills over the years yes. than there used to be. In the 1980s, Tioga's group was at the forefront of inviting visitors to play on their course. A lot of country clubs didn't allow that back then. Yes, that's now, right. I remember that. Yeah, now there's so many golf courses out there, and they're all trying to get any golfers they can. So Tioga's faced a lot of competition. Mm -hmm. So Tioga Country Club actually considered selling to a private buyer, putting yes. it out on the market, but they were concerned that once sold, there's a possibility that it could turn into something other than a golf course yes. at some point down yes, the road. Yes, because of the property, right? It's beautiful out there. Right, and you just nev never know once you let it go. So TCC didn't want that to happen, GROW didn't want to ha that to happen, mm -hmm. because the golf course does have a positive impact on the local economy. Yes. What plans does GROW have for Tioga for 2020? In 2020, our primary plan is to open up the course as it's always been open in the past and get as many golfers and other local people up there to enjoy the course as much as possible. So we, we have an annual play as much as you want for the past country club members. We have daily fee rounds, we'll have tournaments, the bar and grill will be open. Mm -hmm. So we hope a lot of people in the community come up and support Tioga this year. So they're opening and doing well for 2020, but how about future plans for Tioga? Right. So GROW has formed a, a separate board, mm -hmm. Tioga, which is led by Ron Butler, who's a retired hospital administrator. A lot of people know him locally. He's going to bring his great... love Ron Butler. Everybody loves Ron Butler, and he's going to bring a lot of experience and organization to help us make plans going forward, and in addition to pulling off the golf season for this year. So we, we want to make it a great golf course. It is a great golf course. We want to make it even better. Yes. We want to figure out what other uh, recreational opportunities it can provide in the long term yes. for the community so that we can get more people up there yes. enjoying the property. One of our biggest goals is to get more people feeling mm -hmm. comfortable coming up to the course. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not a private country club. It's always invited people up there, but we want to make that even more clear. Yes. So if you haven't been up to the club in a while or you want to try out golf or play it for the first time, this is a great opportunity for you to start. Yeah, people like me, right? I've always been concerned about, can I do it? 
but I've never tried it. So for people like me out of the area or locals, why not go up and try around just for the fun to see what it looks like? Because it's so beautiful. Right. And golf can be a very intimidating game because of all the rules. Mm -hmm. But we, we want to relax that and give you an opportunity to go up there and learn and enjoy it. Initially, Sean, I thought GROW was more involved in industrial projects. And that is how GROW started. But nowadays, like a lot of other towns, mm -hmm. the economy is more complex. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. GROW's interest is not just in industrial projects. Mm -hmm. um, GROW's mission is really to make Wellsboro a great place to work, live, and play. Mm -hmm. So for example, you have a lot of student viewers at homepage. Mm -hmm. We want those students to know that they can pursue their chosen yes. careers here in Wellsboro. Yes. And you have a lot of visitors who watch you because they miss home. <laughs> and we want them to know they can come back and bring their business home or bring their talents home. Yes. And one thing that contributes to that is recreational areas like Tioga. Yes. And so that's a primary reason we want to preserve that. And you know, on behalf of GROW, we want to invite everybody in the community to participate in that. Mm -hmm. So if you have an interest in Tioga, you have ideas about Tioga, we want to hear them and we want everyone in the community to feel like it's their mm -hmm. golf course. On behalf of the community, really, we want to say thanks because you're involved in so much. GROW is just one of the situations. You're really encouraging the community to step up and be a part of the next generations. So I really appreciate that, Sean. Thank you so much. Thanks again for having me. Please check out Tioga's website and Facebook page for more information about the course, as well as a written article below. Also in the writing below are other projects that GROW has been instrumental in acquiring and supporting, such as the sightseeing train ride we all enjoy. We invite you to come and enjoy Tioga this coming season. Thanks for joining us on the Homepage Network.